Um, but we have a big conference that begins today, the Motilal Oswal Annual Conference and Ramdeo Agarwal, the joint MD of Motilal Oswal Financial Services joins us from the sidelines of the conference. Uh, uh, Ramdeo, hi, good morning and thank you for speaking with us again. Before I ask you about the mood at the conference, I wanted to ask you about emphasis because you did travel to Pune to attend that uh, analyst call. Uh, what was the key takeaway from that call according to you? Uh, <clears throat> it was, uh, uh, I mean, I attended after a break of two years. It was very nice, refreshing, and uh, I heard first time um, uh, Vishal Sikha. So clearly, uh, the company is in transform uh, transformative mood, and they have uh, uh, two pieces of, uh, uh, you know, things happening. One is the uh, trying to, you know, kind of renew the existing legacy which they have of the services and they, they are trying to build a next generation company on the back of digital transformation which is going through all over the world and they are the they are trying to position themselves not at a only technology level but I think at a strategy level and they are giving uh, uh, they are just repositioning the company to be a very different company a next generation company with a, such a huge legacy I think so so it's a uh, so it is a company in transition for sure and a very exciting future under the leadership of Vishal now uh, this number crunching you know uh, i mean he clearly said that q2 will be uh, faster growth than the q1 but uh, uh, to really in, in this slow uh, slow global economic uh, environment some something happening in the uh, you know bfsi space worldwide like rbs bank or something but i think what they are trying to do is my sense is that they are trying to affront all the bad news and the good news which they have in terms of deal wins and uh, uh, the uh, the uh, ramping up of the uh, good accounts. So out of say 100 uh, million dollar plus accounts they have or uh, uh, bigger accounts they have, uh, one account has a problem that they are upfronting. But what's, what good things are happening in 1995 accounts that they are not telling and it is becoming very difficult for us to figure out how good or bad is the other piece and how bad is the one which they are talking about. So I think only in the results you will be able to figure out what is the trajectory. But clearly it is not a 25-30% growth company. It's more of a anywhere between, uh, I would think more between 12-18% to 18 kind of a growth trajectory. Okay. Well, let me come to the other stock that uh, is now at the other end of the spectrum in terms of investor affection, uh, Tata Motors. Uh, do you think that has uh, adequately priced in? What did you get from the, uh, you know, the analysts meet? Uh, can you be still bullish on Tata Motors in general, in particular, and of course uh, the four-wheeler space? Rather to be uh, frankly, I was a bit surprised to see the result, but I have I I am not a very good uh, authority on uh, you know Tata Motors. Mm -hmm. So a lot is happening in JLR globally, China, and a lot of moving pieces. Their own Brexit problem, their own uh, currency hedging, and all. So I think we have to uh, we have. Um, I should not speak anything about this. So I have no clue what's happening there. Okay, well, let's talk about your conference then, Ramdeo. Uh, I know it's a little early yeah. to gauge the mood, but uh, what's the sense you're getting so far in terms of participation, FI, mood, etc.? Yeah, so uh, <coughs> uh, here uh, mood is uh, uh, very optimistic. A lot of people have come, a lot of sovereign wealth funds are participating. Uh, uh, and uh, of course domestic response is very large so we have almost thousand invitees uh, i'm sure attendance will be six seven hundred people so hall will be packed uh, 150 corporates are presenting but i'll be stuck to the co track which is happening today and tomorrow there'll be i think 13 corporates presenting and we have tried to see there's a lot of revamping of the uh, companies which are presenting to capture the current mood so like we have, uh, say GST has happened, so we would like to see what Mr. Adi Godrej, which I would think from corporate side, he's one of the best speaker on that, he, what he has to say post GST, what are his uh, apprehensions and optimism are. Uh, we have HPCL chairman presenting tomorrow. Uh, we have uh, uh, we have insurance companies. I mean, insurance is worldwide very large, and particularly life insurance in a country like India. So we are, uh, we are having uh, uh, HGFC Life presenting here. Then uh, I think the very first corporate presentation will be from uh, National Stock Exchange, where our, our beloved 
uh, uh, you know uh, largest and mm -hmm. foremost uh, attractive you know uh, and national stock exchange uh, so chitra will be presenting that so there are a whole lot of variety uh, we have 13 corporate presentations here and uh, three uh, policy makers and the i think uh, the new banks which are coming up i think one of the biggest reforms which have happened in last 3 years under dr rajan is permission to private sector banks in the country in the microfinance in the small regional banks and now banking on the tap so what uh, what what all it has in store uh, so even our erstwhile the most successful uh, bank uh, uh, private sector bank uh, hdfc bank they will be presenting then we have a uh, uh, you know young budding growing uh, uh, yes bank uh, will also be presenting tomorrow so we have uh, uh, lots of these things happening and not to miss even uh, commodity is somewhat uh, presented here through Vedanta CEO uh, Tom uh, Tom Albes uh, Al hmm. Al Albanese <laughs> he is also presenting yeah so uh, we have uh, you know and uh, even liquor is not missing out United <laughs> Bravery is, uh, is also uh, presenting in the CEO track I am quite surprised so I think we will have a good variety tomorrow's uh, corporate presentations are much more stronger than today's but uh, and I think uh, you will be capturing live some mm. of the CEOs will come on, on your camera so I think it will be very interesting to see uh, what is the mood of the corporates because uh, corporates are like gods they descend on uh, you know this kind of <laughs> conferences and they are able to you know kind of uh, give their views uh, without any hindrance and uh, yeah. and then uh, the investors what they are, how they are seeing from uh, Hong Kong, Singapore, London, Hong Kong, uh, New York how they see India uh, because we, we always remain bullish and particularly me I have to be tempered in terms of my bullishness <laughs> by these people so <laughs> Let's see what happens. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, uh, you know, going by the number of speakers that you have described, looks like there's going to be a yeah. big disruption in the finance space. You'll have a bunch of insurance companies now listing. You will have NSE listing. Yeah. And uh, you have, yeah. as you said, a bunch of small banks which are, you know, like uh, the Ujivans and the Equitases will have a new avatar when it gets yeah. uh, the small bank license. Yeah. Yeah. How are you going to approach yeah. this space? Uh, do you move away from the legacy private sector giants who have given you returns like the HDFC bank because there is going to be so much competition? Uh, if you just have to crystal gaze, uh, where will you put your money in finance, finance uh, stocks? Yeah, see, if w one thing is very clear that uh, 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 right now, still two-thirds of the franchise, 60-65% is with the public sector entities right now. Right now, the business is with them, customers are with them, uh, distribution is with them. But uh, profits, two-thirds of the profits or even three-fourths of the profit is with the private sector. And market cap is also uh, like 80% is with the private sector. So, I don't see any reason why we should change the track. Uh, because uh, if... Uh, governments, uh, government uh, in, in case of say whether Air India, whether it is Doordarshan, whether it is MTNL, BSNL, I think government repeatedly in services side has not been able to compete with the uh, vibrant and resurgent. No, no, uh, Ramdev, I'm not so, even, I'm not even asking whether you will put money in pri uh, into public sector from yeah. private. What I'm saying is you had yeah. the new private sector banks which are now actually old mm. private sector banks, the HDFC banks and such yes. like that. There are yeah. new, new private, yeah. newer private sector entities and yeah. different ones like yeah. insurance and exchanges. Yes. So how yeah. will your distribution be in the private space? So we have to look at the new private sector entrepreneurs because right now uh, they have only promises, not the performance. Mm. With the pri other private sector banks, we have the huge uh, 20 year, 15 year track record of performance. Whereas the new ones are coming with a lot of hopes and aspirations and new technology, new processes. So you have to bet on the, you know, the dark horse, one or two of them. And uh, clearly we will start with the lower allocations and the bulk of the allocation with the uh, older guys. Uh, and as they ramp up, as they show their performance, we will keep increasing the allocations to the uh, next generation banks. Okay, just one final question then before we let you go. Uh, you also have uh, from the ministers, the power minister Piyush Goel who is attending the conference. Yes. Wanted your yes. thoughts on, yes. you know, uh, how are you positioned in the power sector as a space? See, one of the things is that uh, uh, Mr. Goel, um, he is all powerful uh, person from Delhi and uh, he has a lot of say in uh, policy making of the government as a whole, not only in power sector and infrastructure. So clearly, uh, 
I mean, our sector has not made a uh, lot of money for anybody so far. Mm. But uh, it remains still one of the biggest opportunity area. Maybe not in power itself, but the power equipment suppliers, distribution, TND, say power grid corporation, or the equipment makers like Siemens, ABB, a whole lot of listings are there. I mean, it's a very large country, large opportunity in the power sector. So we have to see from him uh, what he has done in last two and a half years. In next two and a half years, what all is in store in mining as well as in power sector. So uh, that remains an area of exploration, but uh, we would expect a lot more from Mr. Goyal than just the power sector. Of course, uh, that's, that's a given. He's an important minister. Thank you very much, uh, yes. Ramdev. We will keep touching base with you and our cameras are yes. there at yes. the conference. Uh, so we will want to know feedback uh, almost on an hour yeah. by hour basis yeah. from your guests. Thank you very much yeah. and have a great conference out there. I, I believe there are some 3,500 meetings that they have yeah. lined up one on one. Hectic two days so, ahead. Yes, yeah. very hectic two days. So many meetings simultaneously. Okay, well, yes, let's move on. We also have uh, Sri Renuka. That's one stock that is in focus.